In this particular lecture, let's discuss about the immutability of props. So the props which you actually pass from one component to other component are actually immutable. That means even though you have this data right here, and it might look like this data is actually present in variables, but that is not actually the case. You cannot go ahead and mutate or change the values of these props which you have up over here. So in order to understand this, let's take an example. So you don't have to write this code or make any kind of changes to your very own code. Or you could just simply watch this video and you will be able to understand how props are immutable. So uh, let me go ahead and let me just remove the destructuring from here and let's use regular props here to demonstrate this. So I would say props and this would be back to props.message. This would be back to props.emoji and this would be back to props.name. All right. So now if I go back, this is working. That means the code is correct. And now let's try to go ahead and mutate one of the variables which we have in these props. So let's say if I try to go ahead and modify the name of the person. So in order to access the prop, I would say prop or props.name. And if I say this equals to some other name, like let's say new name, or let's say instead of Rob, I would say Jake. So if I save this, if I go back here, as you can see, the name is not changed here, but instead we actually got an error in the console. And if you take a look at this error, this error says that we cannot assign to the read only property name of object. So this basically means this name property which we have of the object is read only. That means the props which we use are read only. That means they cannot be mutated or written to. So you cannot write some data to the props. The only place where you could actually kind of play around with the data with the props is when you actually pass those props to a component. Once those props are actually passed inside a component, you could no longer mutate them. Therefore, it's called as props are immutable. Now let's discuss a few more interesting things about props. So another interesting thing about props is that you can actually pass in any kind of data to the props which you have. So right now, over here, we have passed in string values here to props. So this is a string. This is also a string. And even though we are passing an emoji here, we are actually passing it as string as well. However, we are not just limited to passing in strings to props, but you could pass in strings, you could pass in arrays, you could pass in objects, you could even pass in functions, entire functions from one component to other component using props. Now, along with functions, you could pass in entire components as well from one prop to other prop. So we will be discussing how to pass different kinds of values to the props in the next lecture. So in the next lecture, let's learn how we could pass arrays and objects to props.